welcome to micro lectures. I'm going to talk about James Bond and why he orders his martini incorrectly. Oh, I'm glad that you're going to take that approach because I'm not a fan of the of the Bond. You naturally are not a fan. Naturally. What is it about the Bond that you're not a fan of? Because that's a very unusual perspective. Mm. Well, it goes back to when I was a child. I wasn't into Sean Connery. It was as simple as that. He didn't do it for me. Hello. Welcome to Micro Lectures. Tonight I'm going to be talking about why a martini should be stirred, not shaken. When James Bond orders his martini, let me show you what happens. Ice is taken and put into the shaker. The Gin is added to the ice, and then the vermouth is added to the gin, added right into the shaker. You got the ice in there, and what is ice? Ice is water. The martini is now shaken. We have just diluted the alcohol considerably by breaking up the ice and adding all sorts of ice crystals and chunks. Then it is poured into the glass, and you should see how frothy that is. And it is mm, absolutely delicious, but it doesn't have a bite. But now let's say you order it stirred. Well, yeah, the bartender's going to look at you a little bit awkwardly and say, did you say you want it shaken? And you have to look him right in the eye and say, excuse me, stirred. Now let me show you why. You take the ice again, it should be just the same as you add the gin, again you add the vermouth, same ingredients or stick like for coffee and you stir it not crushing all sorts of ice into it and then you pour your very cold martini nicely stirred not shaken and look at the difference I'll hold both glasses up here one is a watered down icy cocktail and the other is a very cold beautiful gin martini stirred not shaken. Mmm, there's a bite. Whoo! Take this. It's just one step away from water. Let me tell you something else as long as I'm talking about James Bond. When he gambles, he plays Baccarat. That's a game that takes slightly more skill than roulette. James Bond drinks like a pussy and gambles like a pansy. <laughs> wow, what a lecture! <laughs> I know, thank you. Why don't you just drink the gin out of the bottle? <laughs> no water down at all. Well, that's just the Wild West. We're civilized. I prefer not to drink my alcohol straight, but if I was going to, if that were my preference, why would I want to shake it? Exactly. Water it down. Exactly. You know, it's, it's all theatrics. It's bartender bullshit. Bartender bullshit. They shake it around. They here, give me the shake. Is that shaker. what they do? Right. They better way without because even with your stirring, yeah. you're still watering it down a little bit. You're well, only getting it cold by the ice melting. Right, Why don't right, you just right. put it in the freezer, the bottle, in the freezer, right. drink it out of the fucking brown <laughs> bag like you do. Driggs wants you all to think that there's a difference between him and that dude that you just stepped over at the curb. There is a the difference. brown bag. It's because called he's culture. A suit culture. And he has a glass. That's right. Culture, sophistication. But the difference is that James Bond, in the way he drinks it and that he's marketed it through the movies, is you have people who are actually making a mockery of the martini. Well, anybody who takes a character, a cartoon <laughs> character, and takes it seriously deserves to drink a shitty martini, you know? That's, That's right. That's what I have to say. That's right. <laughs>